Yeah, I've just got the same uh, fiber being blown now. Sweet machine, which uh, pulls the air through, picks up the fiber from in there, blows it through. Here's your stats, what's going on. Goes through your pipes and through there and down there and and that's how the fibre gets to your place. Okay, it's the cabinet where the uh, fibre's been blowing to, um, a bit under a kilometre away from just where we were. You can probably hear the hiss of the, um, the air coming out of the hose, and so that fibre's been fed through at the moment, and just waiting for that to come through. Okay, so the fibre's just come through, and you can see how small they refer to as a bullet on the end. And that's what uh, they use to uh, block the pressure to um, for the water, for the, for the air to push through. And also saying with some of the other bigger fibres, they use water to push the um, these devices through on the bigger fibres. Make sure that you don't get water on your connections. A little bit of Denso tape. She uh, sorts that one out. And then uh, they've now got this cover which goes over the connectors. So it's um, great, uh, great to see that. And as usual, it's always a case of not what you know, but who you know. The bottom one. So we'll align the bottom antenna. So when we get up to the other end, she'll be pre-aligned. Not too far from finishing off the project. Fibre module still going to be installed. Is that trusty tool bag again? Mm -hmm. Lincoln Road, you say? Hi, Kevin Eater here, Trade Star. 
Let's talk about the temping. It's a great way to earn a living. Trying to get it down the middle. Oh, how are you? Yeah. It's a low stress way to enter the workforce. And trade staff from the school. Because it's the outer sheath, which obviously I just stripped off. And then there's the acrylic sheathing that has two bare fibres in it. Salty or a freshie? No, 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 mate. It's easy to no, get up to. No, 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 Fibre and the fibre. So what's that piece there? How does the fibre together, the two together, does it? Or? There's the outer acrylic sheath and then there's an acrylic sheath here, but it also has um, a bare fibre in it. Oh, okay. Uh, is that why you're wearing your gloves That's as well, mainly? My gloves, yeah. It's uh, even good it? enough to go through these gloves. Wow. And of course, because it's bare fibre, you can't see it. You get it in your skin, you only know because it hurts. Yes. You can see it there. Nice way can see that. Is that for strength they've added there? Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Um, to Plugging in the Ethernet in. That's a cutter. That cleaves it. It's a diamond cutter that cleaves it at a 90 degree angle, dead flat face. That puts the two ends together, and then hopefully, oh, put a misalignment there. How accurate is that for the misalignment? Well, you look at the size of the fibre and you see how much the alignment yeah. was at. Yes, yeah, true. Finicky. See what I mean? Yeah. Look at that. 
slicer. Place his neck and then we just hit the button and blast it. And that melts it together. And there you see the join. Right, and that looks perfect. Mission. stainless steel rod with a heat shrinkable protector around the outside just gives the splice some protection you can see that cable moving was it the wind? it's the wind ah, I thought it was something exciting going on <laughs> <laughs> I just get too excited about these oh, sorts of things Yeah, we're uh, pretty much near finished product now. Just going to get the DC to DC converter. We had um, one that did 13.8 uh, that bolts out from 24, but the Allo Talison seemed a bit upset with that. So I wanted to get something a little bit more closer to exactly 12 volts.